So we still get a lot of questions in pilot support on how to connect the IFD with the iPad and specifically the Stratus 3 on the same Wi-Fi network if we're running the later software version of Abbey OS 10.3 and later versions. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get everything set up. I'm going to go into how to get the traffic and weather from the Stratus 3 onto the IFD. Keep in mind that's an optional thing, but this is just going to be a quick video on how to get everything set up and how to get the IFD connected to the Stratus 3 along with the iPad. So jumping right into it, we're going to set up the IFD as a client. Uh, basically, think of it this way. We're going to set up the IFD the same way that we would set up an iPad. We're going to connect it to the Stratus. So with the IFD connected to the Stratus and the iPads connected to the Stratus, it creates this local network that allows you to share flight plan transfer between the IFD and the iPad. You'll be able to get traffic and weather from the Stratus onto your iPads, and you can even get ADSB weather and traffic onto the IFD itself. That's an optional thing. I'll show you how to do that in this video, but know that for the sake of just getting everything on the same network to get your flight plan transfers and to get your traffic and weather on the iPad, setting up the Stratus to send traffic and weather to the IFD is not necessary for this, but I'm still going to show you how to do that. This is how the system looks in a nutshell. This is how we're, everything's going to talk to each other. So getting right into it, I'm going to show you how to connect the Stratus to the IFD. First thing that we got to do is make sure that that Stratus 3 is turned on. With the IFD also turned on and in flight mode, we're going to go ahead and hit the aux button at the bottom of the bezel. We're going to hit the setup tab and we're going to find the connectivity drop down. We're going to expand that menu and then we're going to find networks inside that, drop it down. You should see the Stratus Wi Fi ID in that list. If you don't know what your Wi-Fi ID is for your Stratus, look on the back of your Stratus, you'll see a label that says Wi-Fi ID, and we're looking for that. In this case, I have a Stratus 3 with a bunch of numbers, Stratus 3020502 happens to be my personal Stratus. Yours, your numbers are gonna look a little bit different, but that's what we're gonna be looking for. So we highlight that, select that, hit the connect line select key, and after just a few seconds, if your Stratus 3 is on, that Wi-Fi icon on the IFD is going to turn green. That is it. There's no going into maintenance mode. There's no setting up the SSID. There's no selecting remote Wi-Fi. There's no adding the password because most of these Stratuses don't come with the password. You can select them if you really want to, but for the sake of this, let's just not do that. You don't have to, okay? So that's how you do it. Now, when we connect the iPad and we connect the iPad to the Stratus and we bring up an app for the first time, what's going to happen, what we're going to see is we're going to see a connection request. And that's going to be a green cast message that shows up on the IFD screen itself. It may be the name of your iPad. It may just be an IP address. Okay, but we acknowledge the cast message. We're not done yet. We have to go under devices back in our setup tab. We're going to find that device and we're going to allow it to connect. Now, you only have to do this once if you select this to always. But the first time that you bring it up, the first time that you connect that iPad, it's going to show up as blocked. It's going to let you know with that green cast message that, hey, there's something trying to connect to my network. But go ahead under that device, select it to always. And you may have to do that for the Stratus as well. So just keep in mind that you may have two there. You'll have two devices. Go ahead and set those to always. And the second and beyond times that you do that, you won't ever have to see that again. Okay, so that is how to connect the Stratus or the, the, I, the IFD to the Stratus and the iPad and everything. So we're pretty much done from that point. If you want to learn how to get wireless ADSB in from that Stratus onto the IFD, this is where I'll go into that. Towards the end, I'll talk a little bit about for flight and, and kind of what that means on how to get all that stuff connected. So stick around for that. Real quick, I want to get into this. So with 10.3, we do have the ability to show that wireless traffic and weather on the IFD itself. The IFD is going to show ADSB in from any wireless device if that device sends ADSB data over Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth. And if that data is sent via wireless capstone protocol, now you may hear some different names out in the industry for wireless capstone. Some folks call it standard GDL90. Uh, Apario calls it open ADSB. It's the same thing, right? 
uh, we have to configure the IFD for this in maintenance mode. So if we want to do that, here's the steps on how to get that done. Assuming that we've got everything else set up already, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to that system tab in our aux page on the IFD. We're gonna get this into maintenance mode. And how we do that is aux button system tab. We're gonna hit the download logs line select key on the left side. And then we're gonna select confirm. The IFD is gonna reboot into maintenance mode. Don't freak out. It's gonna go blank. It's gonna reboot back into maintenance mode. From there, we're gonna go ahead and select the config tab at the bottom of the screen. And using the larger outer lower right knob, we're gonna scroll over to the wireless portables page. The first thing that we have to do is we have to configure the IFD to look for the wireless capstone. As you can see here, we have one selection. It's either capstone is disabled or enabled. But in order to do that, we're going to head and enable wireless capstone. But if we have any wired ADSB inputs, if you have a Skytrax 200, if you have a GTX 345, if you have a free flight Ranger or any other wired ADSB input source, we have to turn those off. Now, my personal recommendation if you have one of those wired ADSB inputs, leave this alone. Don't even worry about getting traffic and weather from your Stratus onto your IFD. It gives you a redundant system. Your iPad seeing the Stratus, your IFD is seeing your wired input. You already have two different sources, anyways. If you have that, leave it alone. If not, just make sure that your RS-232 and your Aaron 429 config pages are not configured to receive ADSB in from any wired source. You will get some errors. So summarize, enable wireless capstone in the wireless portables page, and then make sure that your RS-232 and your 429 configurations do not have any wired ADSB inputs configured. Turn those off. So the next thing we got to do is just go back into flight mode, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to hit the update tab and hit done. We're going to reboot into flight mode. Reconnect that IFD to the Stratus in the setup tab if necessary. Just go make sure it's connected still. And if not, just connect it and make sure that the iPad is connected to the Stratus. Okay, so a quick note about ForeFlight here. If we're bringing up ForeFlight, now most of you are, if you're going to do that, and you have a Stratus 3 and you bring up four flight, you may see this prompt that says Stratus 3 mode. Four flight's going to try to uh, can put it into four flight mode, which is basically a different uh, wireless capstone protocol. It's a different GDL90 protocol. We want to hit cancel for that if we are doing it with our setup. Otherwise, it's going to, four flight is going to send a signal to the Stratus to send it in the into four flight mode where the Stratus is now sending it over a different protocol. So if we want that traffic and weather to show up from the Stratus into the IFD, we do not want four flight mode. So we're going to hit cancel. Now it may prompt you a couple of times. Just keep hitting cancel until that stops coming up. Uh, if you continue to have problems, you may have to restart four flight. Another thing that you can do, and actually Apario recommends this, is to download the Stratus Horizon Pro app. That's actually how you control your Stratus. Now, if you're not using ForeFlight, uh, it's particularly important because this is how you tell the Stratus to go into open ADSB mode. Remember what I said previously, open ADSB is that standard wireless capstone protocol that the IFD needs to show its weather and traffic from the Stratus onto the IFD. So in our Horizon Pro app, we're going to make sure that open ADSB mode is selected. It's in green. That allows the Stratus 3 to work with a host of other aviation apps and send traffic and weather to the IFD. And that concludes how to set up the IFD, the iPad, and the Stratus 3 with AviOS 10.3. I will see you guys later. Have a great day.